Welcome to my 4 minute challenger guide featuring Master Yi, the Wuju Bladesman. Alright, so for runes we need to go all attack speed, scaling health, and magic resist per level. Why do I go all attack speed, faster clears, more wriggle proc, and for that true damage Wuju style. Alternatively, for blues you could go cooldown reduction, and I would do so if the enemy is not packing heat on that magic damage. So, for the item build, I do go Riggle's Lantern to Boots to Blade of Room King. I want to elaborate on the Blade of Room King plus Gosu Blade combo. You see, the more movement speed you have, the more stickiness you'll have to a target, which will mean you'll have more auto attacks on a target, which means more damage. I will most likely prefer Ghost Blade over Static Shift most of the time because of the active. And right after your core main damage items, you want to build up a wee bit tanky. So I get Randoons or Banshees after, and then I start building an Infinity Edge after. You might want to have less Whisper if the enemy is stacking armor though. And your boots can vary depending on the situation, Ninja Toppy or Merc Treads for CC. And if you need to win one team fight, I suggest you getting a Guardian Angel. Masters, I do go 21 Knight because he is a hyper carry, so I want to maximize my damage output. And for skill order, I do max out Q first and then E and then W. You'll obviously want to max out what gives out the most damage, and that is Q and E. Alright, so when ganking as Yi, basically, you want to be looking for those counter ganks. Since Yi doesn't really provide any CC, he can't really initiate a fight. But if the enemy comes to him, he of course does have access to a lot of damage output and can easily take down targets swiftly. Again, Yi is not the strongest ganker, but of course he can make some ganks work. Alright, so my early game mindset with Yi is to basically farm the jungle 90% of the time and 10% of the time gank something. If I can ever show up for a counter gank, I will show up since Yi is pretty good in 2v2 situations, if of course the focus is on someone else other than Yi. But again, Yi does not bring CC, so try not ganking the lane and just focus on farming until you're level 6. And once you're level 6, you can actually gank lane since you do have increased movement speed and attack speed for the next 10 seconds and of course, have great sticking power and damage output. And the basic combo is just use your Q and then run in and slash him while activating your Wuju style and only use Meditate to reduce incoming damage. Or if you actually need to, you can use it as an auto attack reset. So by mid game, you should probably have a Blader Room King. And once you have that, if the enemy of course isn't that far ahead, you should be able to one of you on anyone in the game. So if I see someone that's alone, I will try to go for that 1v1 and try to kill him. Which is why pushing a lane alone can be safe against the Yi, as Master Yi does have that all-in potential. So when team fighting comes to Master Yi, remember you aren't really the initiator unless you're going for a pick, but basically in a 5v5, you're not the first one to go in. You'll probably be the second one to go in, or when you see the enemy uses all his cooldowns on someone else, or when you can pick up a kill instantly and reset off that, so that you can basically clean up the enemy team and just snowball off that first reset. So like I said, you should initiate fights with Yi as if you're the first one going in a team fight, obviously you will be bursted down immediately and you won't use the damage potential that Yi can bring since you will either be zoned from the fight and you won't be able to output your damage. Like I said, Yi can also pick off people and somewhat initiate skirmishes as he can just pop his ulti and then use Blade of Rune King on someone to pick someone off and then he can just keep sticking to his target and just unload a bunch of damage on it. Again, this is only used if you feel like someone is alone and not one enemy is grouped up or you don't know where everyone is. So in a team fight, your mindset should be to clean up the fight. That means killing whoever is low or to see a kill potential on someone and just go for it. So you basically want to pop your ult when the team fight does start and then of course use your Ghost Blade plus Blade of King on whoever you're trying to kill and you just keep diving on whoever you can kill and then after that you just keep getting those resets and killing people. And the only time you should use Meditate is if you think you're ever going to get focused and the mindset is almost the same as using Zonius. So again, Master Yi is a pretty good split pusher since in a lot of scenarios you can actually 1v1 most champs. So you can tell your team to go pressure mid 4v4 while you pressure another lane so you can get in a 1v1 situation with an enemy. Hey, thank you for watching. I am Pancho Dragon, a challenger player in NA. Check out my 4 minute jungle Amumu guide. Check out my 4 minute Wukong guide. And I thank you for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.